Hello everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports and today I'm going to be giving you my team to beat the All Blacks, my Springbok team to beat the All Blacks next week and um, it's going to be an interesting team that Rusty Rasmus is going to name on Tuesday we expect uh, for the first test against Scott Robertson's All Blacks the first time he will face the South African side and uh, the first game will get Ellis Park, 5 o'clock South African Standard Time on Saturday. Uh, we will obviously be at the game. We'll be giving you guys all the press conferences. We'll be giving you pre-match build-ups. So a lot that's going to be going on um, next weekend. So make sure if you're new to the channel that you smash a like on the video and you subscribe as well. Also turn your notifications on um, so that breaking news, for example, that we do a lot of, you get uh, the first ones to know. You get a little notification to say, here we go. Here's the video. You can go and find exactly what is happening in the rugby world. Now, today I'm going to be giving you my thoughts on the team that we should try and select. And a lot to talk, sort of uh, decide when it comes to this team. You know, for example, benches, 6-2, 7-1, 3 splits. You know, who's going to start at 10? Who's starting at 9? Um, you know, who's going to be your front row, your lock combination, the back row, your center combination? Because we've seen so many different combinations throughout the season already um, across the, the various pre matches. And uh, I think it's very much... You know, now crunch time. These, this is the two biggest games of, of the season, you know, regardless of the, of the outgoing turf, for example, it's these two games, aren't they? If, if the Ireland get series is the most important of the year, now this is the second most important, these two matches. Because you win these two matches, you, you're on the, the verge of winning the Rugby Championship. Um, you get the Freedom Cup back, for example. So there's a lot at stake here to really try and prove our dominance and, and that we are one and truly the best side in the world. So... Um, I think we're primed to do it, to be honest. I, I think there's there's no reason why we shouldn't uh, be looking to try and uh, and, and go two, two for two against the All Blacks. And I'd like to just go as strong as possible, but also as balanced as possible. So uh, before I show the team, um, I want to know what your teams are. Down in the comments below. And uh, then we, as I go through my team, I want to know what you think of the team, the changes you would make, and uh, how you might tweak this side. This is what I've gone with, and uh, maybe a couple of of of, of uh, controversial selections, but but let's go through it. So in the front row, um, I've gone with Oxen Chair, Malcolm Marx, France, Moherber, Stephen Kitsop, Oxen Chair. For me, pretty interchangeable. I think Ox brings a tremendous uh, uh, impact off the bench, for example, maybe more so than Stephen Kitsop. There's also an argument Stephen Kitsop coming back to Springbok rugby hasn't played in as long. Might be better for him to start, for example. But um, I'd really like to see Ox and Chair just hammering away at that All Blacks uh, scrum from the get-go. Um, similarly, I think Malcolm Marks has not come off the bench a couple of times. He's looking fit. I'd like to see him start and um, make a use of the side. Could also obviously come off the bench. You know, that's also pretty interchangeable with Bongi Manambi with regards to, um, you know, the impact later on in the game. But I'd like to see us not just rely on the bomb squad or, you know, a bomb squad. I've gone with the 6-2 split, as you can probably see. Um, but I'd like to see us really start the game strong. And I think Malcolm Ox is somebody that, that really gives us that. And then Franz Mahoba, you know, our, our strongest tight here, best scrummager, him starting, is a bit of a no-brainer. This week, it's interesting. I've play, I'm not when it comes to the lock combinations. I've gone with Eben Etzebeth, and I've actually started Nicholas Janssen von Rensburg. Now, I personally think Rassi Rasmus will start uh, Arche's name. I think that's that's probably a logical thing to do. Here's my reason for Nicholas Janssen from Rendsburg. Number one, Arche's name is a tremendous impact player off the bench. Um, and I think that when he comes off the bench with the likes of Quaker Smith, for example, you know, that's where we see the best of him. And that's not to say that he, he doesn't play well when he starts, but I just think that he's such a good impact player. And then two things, our lineups are very, very dodgy at the moment. We've not had particularly good success. Nicholas Janssen from Rendsburg in theory, solves that issue. He's a tremendous line operator, very, very high rugby IQ. He's had a very good season. He dropped back in the squad, and uh, I genuinely think that he could find himself in, in this side because I think we're really missing Lourdes Diago and Franco Master. We're really missing that line-out general, for example. And I think Ruan Okiel will come that, become that kind of player, but I think Nicholas Jansen from Rensburg can be that player now. Um, so I've gone with him at, at number five um, with Arkisama coming off the bench. Then I've gone with Sia Kalisi Pierce Depp the toy. I've gone with Jasper Visa. And I think a lot of people might disagree with this one. They might prefer an Alred Lowe, for example. I think Jasper Visa is someone in the last few years. He's come in leaps and bounds. And I think that he's probably still is our best eight. Um, you know, now that Dwayne has moved on. I think he brings tremendous physicality. I think he's cut out a lot of his discipline issues, ironically, because he is currently missing Mr. Half the season because of a discipline issue. I, I do think that red card. The entire band was maybe a bit harsh, but uh, internationally-wise, I think he's looked really, really good. He sorted a lot of skill set out, 
And, uh, you know, he's had another really, really strong season in the Premiership. So going with the SBSB said 8, Albert Lowe could be a bit hard done by. This is also the, maybe the controversial one. I expect to see Kubas run up starting with no factor clerk. I'd really like to see Jaden Hendricks to start. Um, I know he hasn't played as much rugby. He's been back in the, in the Curry Cup. But again, tremendous IQ, tremendous game management. Um, and I think that we've, in, in lieu of Faf, I think that um, his rugby IQ, the way he reads the game, is it could be absolutely vital against against the All Blacks. It's basically Kubus Ryman. I'd like to see Jaden Henderson there. Similarly, Beckham. I'd like to see Sash Fine Gomazulu. We're going to see dry conditions in Johannesburg. Um, you know, that's more or less a given. It's going to be warm. It's going to be perfect conditions for running rugby. Um, you know, we saw Monty Box tear up the spring uh, the All Blacks last year. I wouldn't actually mind seeing Monty Box start. But um, I do think that, that Sasha Fanagon Zulu, you know, in dry conditions, I think this is a test where we could really throw him. I, we, I, again, I probably expect Andre Pollard to start, but um, I think that he's, he's played well enough for me to, to warrant backing him. Um, and you've got your Andre Pollard on the bench. Well, I've got my Andre Pollard on the bench. In case it goes badly. The rest of the back line, I think, is pretty straightforward. Chesden Colby, Kirkley, Arons, and Billy LeRue as the back three. Damien Lindy comes in, and Neil Pollard, Jesse Creel in the centre. We may be an outside shot. Might see the Kanyam at inside centre. I don't think we'll see Andre S. Tazen, and I don't think we'll see the Kanyam at outside centre. Then off the bench, I've gone with Bongi and Manambi, Stephen Kitsop, and Vincent Koch as sort of my impact front row. Um, Arkes name and Ben Jason Dixon, Quaker Smith. I think that's a really, really good. Um, you know, bomb squad in the very commas. We've traditionally seen sort of Markham and Starden join them ahead of someone like a Ben Jason Dixon. I think Ben Jason Dixon can add a really, really big impact. Um, maybe we might see an Alric Lowe, for example, coming off the bench. We could see an Alric Lowe start, in which case Jasper Visa maybe joins sort of the bomb squad. We've seen him in a bomb squad before. I think those three players um, can really bring a lot of. Um, of the impact. I think Ben Jason Dixon gets around the park, gets around a lot of work. Um, you know, for me, you can you can shift PSD to Toy to lock if you needed to, um, and, and have Ben Jason Dixon on the side. There's lots of different options there, for example. Um, and then I've gone with Grant Williams and I've got Andre Pollard. I think Grant Williams will be on the bench. I think it'll be either Hendricks or Ryder starting, but I think uh, Williams comes off the bench, and then I think Pollard is the ob obvious option. If you're going to go with Sash Farming Gondazoo starting at 10, go with Pollard at, 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 on the bench so that you've got that option that's sort of been there, done that. Um, other sort of options you can go with, you could go with the 5-3 split, for example. Have my knee box potentially starting um, with both Sass and Andre on the bench. Options are 10, 12, 15, for example. Um, you can go with the 6-2 split, have Andre starting and Sass finally got Zulu on the bench. He obviously adds that sort of utility. That might obviously be a safer uh, sort of way. That's how we went against Ireland. But um, I do think they really do rate Sash Farmer Gomezu enough to potentially give him a run. This is what I would like to see. What change would you make? Let me know down in the comments below. Smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.